Hello everyone. So our today's topic is a very simple and yet a very interesting topic. It is hemophilia. A very interesting facet of hemophilia which has attracted investigators and researchers is the prevalence of this disorder in the blood of royal families in Great Britain and some European countries. So what is hemophilia? Hemophilia in layman's term is nothing but a bleeding disorder which has coagulation disorders. So let us learn about a coagulation disorders. They are generally of two types, hereditary and acquired. Hereditary again are mainly qualitative and quantitative, out of which X-linked disorders are the most common, example of which are hemophilia. And we are not going to go much into acquired coagulation disorders. So let's just see the examples, which are vitamin K deficiency and disseminated intravascular coagulation, etc. So this is a pictorial representation about hemophilia where this shows the healthy blood and this shows the blood which has hemophilia. So whenever there is hemorrhage, there is clotting in the healthy blood which stops the bleeding. But in hemophilia, there is inability to clot which leads to continuous bleeding and does not allow the blood to clot. This again just shows the same thing where the normal blood releases natural clotting factors which forms the platelet plug and forms a fibrin mesh which stops the bleeding due to the formation of platelet plug. But in hemophilia, there are less clotting factors which forms a very weak platelet which is not able to stop the bleeding and the bleeding continues. So, Hemophilia is of two types. Hemophilia A, which is also known as classic hemophilia and hemophilia B, which is also known as Christmas disease. So what is hemophilia A? Hemophilia A is an inherited serious bleeding disorder where a person's blood does not clot properly. This is the most common coagulation disorder which occurs almost 80%. In this, there is reduced activity of factor 8. This is an X-linked recessive trait as I told you before and hence it is more prevalent in males than in females. Though it is also found in females rarely if both the parents have hemophilia or if the mother is a carrier. Generally, females are just a carrier. And this occurs due to mutation in the F9 gene. It occurs in one in every 10,000 male births. And it is most common in Britain, Northern Europe and Australia. So let us know about a pathogenesis of it. 90% of it is quantitative reduction of factor 8. But 10% it occurs due to normal level of it but there is reduced activity of factor 8. Factor 8 is synthesized in hepatic parenchymal cells and regulates factor 10 in intrinsic pathway. And we all know how important factor 8 is for coagulation of the blood. Factor 8 is complex to another large protein, von Willebrand factor. Normal hemostasis requires 25% of factor 8 activity. But people who have hemophilia have reduced number of factor 8 activity. Clinical features. They suffer from bleeding for hours or days because there is ineffective coagulation. They have painless hematrosis, muscle hematomas, and hematuria. As you can see, all these are related to the coagulation disorders only because of the reason that the blood is not able to clot properly. This is a pictorial representation of the clinical features present in hemophilia A, some of which are intracranial hemorrhage, prolonged nosebleeds, bruises easily, form painful swollen joints with decreased movements and GI hemorrhage. There is a pattern in all of these. As you can see, all of these are caused only because of decreased coagulation of the blood. So, the treatment of it is Factor 8 Replacement Therapy 
which consists of factorate concentrates or plasma cryoprecipitates. But chances of AIDS is very high in this therapy as there is continuous blood transfusion present in this treatment. Now let us learn about Haemophilia B. Haemophilia B is also known as Christmas disease. It is caused due to deficiency of factor 9 and Haemophilia A was caused due to deficiency of factor 8. It is very rare compared to Haemophilia A and almost 20% cases are present and 1 in every 100,000 male births have Haemophilia B. Clinical features are not very different from Haemophilia A but it's very important to differentiate them as the treatment of it is different. So principles of treatment. Infusion of fresh frozen plasma or a plasma enriched with factor 9. But the complications of it are also very high as you can see. It causes hepatitis, chronic liver disease and AIDS. And also thrombosis and embolism are also present if they are treated for a long time. So this shows a different, the difference between Haemophilia A and Haemophilia B. So as you can see there is decreased factor 8 and factor 9 respectively in Haemophilia A and B and both are excellent recessive traits and Haemophilia A is more common than Haemophilia B. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful.